take the winner. Do you know what that's called? Emma does this all the time with names. Then fancy, say, I say uh, fancy wins. Okay, now the next name is Fancy and Lady Diva. Which one wins? And you go through like the whole list like that. We'll be here on Sundays. You think? You I'm think? a very quick decision maker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm like, um, this one. Okay, no. where's a pen? Who beats who? Okay, we'll do that. Unless you want to do um, where we just go through and pick a couple and put I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, out of every five. Name every it. five. One, two, winner. three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. But that's a male. And we've, we'll have we talk about that. One, okay. two, three, four, five. Uh, five. Five. Did you meet this? Five. No. Uh, one. I don't. Okay, and then these. Yeah, and then the okay. yes. So then out of these, you'll name, and then we'll come up. So I'll pick one, and then that name versus the next one. Yes, and then I'll okay. put that on the back, and then okay. versus the next one. Okay. Okay. Oh, I match your quilt. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Good morning. This is Jean here. Hi. And I have my friend Jen, Jean, from True Love Quilts for You. Um, we are not quilting today. We are naming Jen's giraffe elephant, uh, giraffe elephant, quilt. <laughs> giraffe quilt, um, that she has made. Um, I, we showed you this a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah. this is our, my true love quilting challenge that this is the quilt that Jen came up with. And again, um, there is no pattern for this. We're going to talk about that. Jen made this quilt. Could you just hold it up yeah. a little bit? Yeah, just hold that up like that. There's no pattern. Jen made this applique quilt up. Okay. The long neck giraffe using the fabrics that I had chosen for my True Love Quilting Challenge, which the, you can check the playlist. And we're going to talk about uh, pattern making. If Jen, because people have been asking, um, have you made a pattern for this, which Jen hasn't. We're going to talk about that. But right now, we're going to name name the giraffe. We're going to name G Jen's giraffe. And with we, your help, you've given lots of help, right? Tons of help. Um, it is a girl. It is a girl. It is a girl. So you're uh, just a few of them. Jeffrey, sorry, you're not going to be named. So what we're going to do is I made a list, and I hope I've included everybody. You must forgive me if I have forgotten, but I made a list, quite a long list, of the names that you have uh, submitted for Jen's giraffe quilt to be named. And what we're going to do is I'm going to read that because there's quite a lot of them. Yeah. I'm, I know, isn't it amazing? It's awesome. So there's like this interactive. It's wonderful. I'm going to name out five. Okay. And then you're going to pick out of those five, one of them. And then we're going to do okay. a process of elimination. All right. Now, you've looked at this list. Yes. And you have a, an, I, you have a name. I make decisions I as fast as I quilt. Okay. <laughs> oh, she's on rabbit. <laughs> she's on rabbit to, to name her, her giraffe. So the first few names are, listen carefully. Okay. Jenny, Fancy, Lady Diva, Fiona, and Cleo. Which one out of that? I think Cleo. Cleo, okay. Okay, we have Ollie, Petunia, Stretch, Rona, Rona, and Chloe. Petunia. Oh, okay. How about Sundance, Queen G, Jeffrey, forget Jeffrey, Gigi, Frederica. Ooh, I'm going to go Frederica, but I don't know if I can pronounce it. <laughs> Frederica. It was like Frederica. Frederica. Okay. Isn't that nice? That's cute. Okay, so now we have Glory, Clara, True Love Darling, <laughs> Daisy, Francesca. Uh, I think we should add in True Love Darling. Oh, that's so sweet. Since it's a True Love Challenge. Since it's a True Love Challenge. Okay, the next five. Medley, Gwendolyn, Twiggy, Patches, or Geraldine. Oh, I like patches because okay. it does have a lot of patches. That's cute. I got to tell you something afterwards about okay. that. Oh, Gus, Isabella, Flutter, Zoe, or Buttercup. Hmm. How about Flutter? Flutter, okay. Flutter. Johari, Gemma, April, Jennifer, <laughs> or Gina. I actually really like Gemma. Oh, Gemma. Yeah. I knew that because your daughter's name is Emma. <laughs> It's like Jen, Gemma. Gemma. Well, and you have Emma. Yeah. So there you funny. go. So we have Poppy, Georgina, mm. oh, Howard, Melody, or Olive. Poppy. Poppy. Oh, Love Poppy. Poppy. Okay. 
I'm going to put this one in up here so there'll be six. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce that. Kukla? 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 Kukla. Hope. Penelope. Esmeralda. Felicia or Ginger? I think Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Okay. This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> Gracie. Felicity. Twiga or Twiga? Twiga. Lily or Willow? I think Willow. I like that name too. Which, does she look like a Willow? I don't know. Oh. Heidi, Jerry and Giraffe, Francis, Gertie, or Penny? Penny. Oh, really? Oh. Okay, we have Fiona, Lady Genevieve, Francie, Lola, Jaja, or Shh, I'm hiding. <laughs> How cute. Um, I'm going to go Zsa Okay. So now, out of... Like all over the place with these. I ones. know. So out of... I'm going to do the five. Okay. So out of Cleo, Petunia, Frederica, True Love Darling, and Kukla. Oh, no. No, no, no. Sorry. Okay. Out of Cleo, mm -hmm. Petunia, Frederica, and True Love Darling. Just those four. Petunia. Oh, Petunia. All right. Out of Patches, Flutter, Gemma, or Poppy. All right, this was hard because this has like <laughs> two or three of the ones I really like. Yeah. Um, oh, I love Gemma, but I love Patches. Oh, and I like Poppy too. Oh, I have a thing with peas. I you think. do. I'm seeing. <laughs> I'm seeing a pea thing. <gasps> I'm seeing a pea thing evolve here. Patches. Patches. Okay. It's so funny. Quite a few people. Yeah. Said. Quite a few people said. Gigi and Patches. Uh, isn't that something? Isn't that interesting? Okay, so now the, na the last four, Esmeralda, Willow, Penny, or Zsa I'm going to have to go Penny. <laughs> oh, okay, so now we are down to... It's definitely oh, a it's two, three. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and they're all peas. They're all peas. They're all peas. Okay, so we have... Drum okay, roll. this is funny. Drum roll. Wait, I just had a revelation. What? Okay, so I have three kids, and Ethan and Emma are my first two kids, and when I had my third, everyone <laughs> thought it was going to have an ah, E name. It's Parker. It's Parker, Parker. <laughs> and these are three P girls. That was not planned. That, that was what, hilarious. That is so funny, because you had no idea what people are going to No. Oh, that my so goodness. Funny. And this is the first time Jen is actually... I haven't seen this. She, she saw it just a few seconds before we started to film. Yeah. But to actually listen to this. Oh, my word. That is hilarious. So... Petunia, Petunia, Patches, or Penny? Oh, I think it's between Petunia and Patches. Okay, okay. So we got Petunia, double click, and Patches. Okay, drum roll, folks. Oh, I think you should pick the name. <laughs> no, you should do it. You should do it. What do you think, folks? What do we think? What do you think? Petunia. Oh, I would love patches. to hear what people are going. <laughs> Say, Petunia, Petunia, Patches, Patches, Petunia, Patches, Patches. All right. Since we know that many people vote at the same name, I think it's going to be Patches. Patches, yes. <laughs> yes. And yes. it makes sense. Because quite a few of you said, I think it's Patches. I think it's Patches. I love Petunia. And I think I the full Petunia. name should be Patches. True love darling. Patches, <laughs> oh, there you go. So this is Patches. So maybe if you make a label for the back. Oh, could, cute. You could actually yes, name, name her Patches, True Love Darling. Oh, I love that. Oh, that That's is so, so cute. Because it's from the True Love Challenge. That is so sweet. The this very first of many True Love Challenge. I know, which I have started mine. but that, that, So no, can no, we see? No, 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 oh, no. Oh, no. come on. I'll give you a little, I'll give you a little. Um, I want to see I'll give so you a bad. preview. Okay. <gasps> I'll give you a preview of my... What? What? Dressed in plates? Dressed in plates. <gasps> Using a, these are three of my fa four of my fa what? three of my fabrics. What am I gonna do with them? What? What am be? I doing with them, Jen? Flower pants. Mm, uh, what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> I love it. Oh, they're, I love it. They're sweet, aren't they? I really love the um. 
that boutique. That boutique. Oh, Wasn't it pretty? So pretty. Yeah, very, very pretty. Now, let's get to your quote. So, so Patches True Love Darling, we want to talk about something that, again, so many of you have asked about. Jen, have you made a pattern for your giraffe? Jen has no idea how to make a pattern. Jen has no <laughs> idea how to make a pattern. You, do you folks, comment below, how do you make a pattern? We are artists. Yeah. We're creative fabric artists to a certain extent, as, you, as you've witnessed us. You just, this came out of your head. Tell us your process slowly, okay. how you actually did this so that maybe someone at home could copy this. Okay, so my first step I did was cut out a white fabric the neck because I knew I wanted the big long neck. So you cut a piece of fabric that looked like a giraffe. Just a neck. long giraffe neck, a piece of white yeah. muslin, white I, fabric. Yeah, I actually folded it in half so it would be symmetrical. Okay. And just did a line with a pen, I think, right. a pencil, just across and down what I thought looked right. Because the bottom is wider. And yeah, the neck, the top and the neck goes up. up. A... So each side is exactly the same. Yes. Cut down. So you have the neck down to the bottom. And of the I neck. thought in my head that's a block. That's yeah. I know you're saying that, but it's not. That, it's like, not. That but was... that in my head, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Like this is block one. And then for the patches, I knew I wanted it to tr the fabric to travel. So I did like the orange, the orange, the orange, the orange, the red, the red, like I tried to go red, 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 you know, so, like, so your eye would travel down the neck. Right. So that there was no colors that were right next to each other. Yes. Yeah. Now, how did you, so in a pattern making scenario, I suppose, uh, like an applique, it would be yeah. that, that people would have the shapes. Okay on a piece of pattern paper paper and then you would transfer them on they would to, cut them out they would cut them out but a lot of applique patterns are made with um like um a fusible web uh, did you do that no no so jen just how did you fix them um, I used a glue stick. A glue stick, an Elmer's glue stick, which I love. Yeah. Because these are raw edge. Yeah. So you just cut out the you just cut out the fabric. Yeah. They're not backed. There, no. There's no like interface in behind them. There's no. no fusible web. Let's put them up a little no. bit like that. Just so people not too close because it gets fuzzy. Okay. Like that. So now what we're talking about is each patch that Jen cut out is just um, was glued on to the white raw edge. This is just raw. Yep. And you made, so how did you come about making the size of the patches and the, the actual um, shape? So I started with this one okay. and just did a shape. Okay. And then and I... And so you knew that they were going to be about five inches, four or five inches. Yeah. And some were a little, like I had a little okay, piece I one. added there. I did look at an actual giraffe to see that they're not all the exact same okay. size. Okay, okay. So I thought I can have a random, a random little one. one. Yep. And then they're all different shapes. There's not like a... Um, so you you started out with that shape. So how did you get that shape? So I did this one, then this one, and then I realized this fabric had to come like that. Okay, so, so I just you did just a piece. figured it out. Yeah, and then I said, okay. Now, I'm did you have a piece of paper there. over that? Or did you just eyeball it? I eyeballed it. You eyeballed it. So, so people... A lot of people can't eyeball things. Yeah. That's why you have patterns okay. that would have this actual shape. So yeah. it would be like for the red and white dot, they would, you know, you would have that fabric and then that pattern, okay. you know, cut these shapes out of the red and I white dot. I mean, I dot. guess it wouldn't be as hard if I was putting the shapes on paper for them to cut out and then cut out of their fabric because then I don't need measurements. Exactly. Right? Exactly. That makes sense to me. Right. I'm thinking a pattern like when we've done your quilt challenges yeah, and no. it's like five start with a five and a half inch block yeah and then no no cut, no do no, this no, and that. no no roll like applique is 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 applique like the cake quilt i did yes exactly okay. exactly it's okay. just like it's just um cutting out shapes yeah 
and yeah. it, and this is a raw edge collage so like now the the leaves would be easy you see that that would yeah. just be that would just be a, a, a piece of brown fabric and then leaf shaped out of the green yeah now the face is she's just so beautiful so the how did face, that come about i did i was looking at cartoon giraffe okay. pictures and um other quilts on uh Pinterest, Pinterest of right, giraffes right and then I decided to freehand on a giant piece of paper okay my outlined head of the he okay so, so that was a pattern a, a lot of them were looking sideways and I wanted one head on yeah so I just beautiful. figured that I knew I had to do these things a giraffe has and then their ears are a little big and then I had so basically to you copied a, 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 a compilation of different Multiple images photos. Yeah. and you came up with her yeah that 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 uh shape yes that shape yeah so then Based you saw real drafts and cartoon okay drafts. and yeah. then so you you then cut out you cut her out right just okay. the batik really just the yellow batik yeah she cut out the yellow batik yeah and then you start and then i see you i didn't see it all the last time you actually backed you have a white piece of fabric behind the ears i around the ears and around, and around here and the lips. Oh, and, and of course in the eyes. And that really was only, I didn't originally, but I felt like it, the face wasn't popping because I had the white here yes. and the eye went right to here. Yes. So I thought I need white behind mm -hmm. here to balance it out and kind of make it pop. So then I went back and added the white before I stowed, stitched it Before you stitched, stitched them on. on. Yeah. And then this was just... So the one fabric you had was the stripes. Yes, it was the stripe. And, um... When I did, the stripes were the, actually the last piece added because again, the face fell flat in this part. It right. didn't look like it was a dimensional type thing. So I thought perhaps by adding the stripes and then it also gave kind of a tribal look. Absolutely. Which the giraffes are from Africa and I, I don't know, I kind of just liked it. So I added the stripes. It's fabulous. Now I'm just going to cut off right now because I'm going to go get the, um, I'm going to get the challenge fabrics. Okay. So if people don't know what we're talking about, I'll yeah. be right back. So I just went and got my fabrics. If, if you're just new to this, I had a couple months ago, Jen had asked me to do a true love quilting challenge. And what I had done, I have a playlist on it. What I have done, I selected six different fabrics, just random from different manufacturers for you guys to sort of participate. And what Jen is talking about right now is this striped fabric. Mm -hmm. I've chosen this striped fabric. I've chosen this red and white dot. I've chosen this fabric here, this blue sort of a focal print that you have incorporated in yep. there. Mm -hmm. I've chosen this is the batik. Oh, I've, I've and I forgot the uh, the red. There's a there's a no the white the white dot. Oh, oh no, I've forgotten two of them. I've forgotten yeah. two of them. So uh, this was a fabric here, this red paisley, and then also the... Oh, the rainbow heart. The rainbow heart That's little right. dots. Okay, so rainbow. these were the... Yeah, this fabric here, this little rainbow fabric. It's, it's over there somewhere. So this is the batik that we're talking about, the multicolor batik. So there were six of these fabrics, okay, that Jen used all six in yeah. her quilt. Awesome. Yeah, and then used an additional brown for the stem and the leaves. And then of course the white backing and the blue back the blue background fabric so yeah. that's that's basically and how you black. did it and the for the little eyes nose, yeah these yeah. eyes um and you're going to be putting eyelashes on her yes yeah now somebody had this that's why i had to be a girl yeah that's why because her want, eyes like, were so beautiful and yeah. again lots and lots of suggestions um somebody said why don't you put false eyelashes you did that on your one quilt, right? Yes, I did. That is a good yeah. idea. Yeah, just like, like a really exaggerated false eye. Yeah. She really does need it. I oh, think that'll yeah. really be awesome. Or like somebody said, cut out little slivers and curl them. So, um, yeah, so that's that. But as far as pattern making, again, this is, this is just your thought process. But yeah. we're saying people make a lot of money. We're in the wrong thing. We're in the wrong thing. Because <laughs> a lot of times I make someone something, oh, do you have a pattern? I'm like, no, that's a one-off. Would yeah. you want to do that? Would you want to be like embarking? You have a busy life. I mean, I don't know. I, I think if I did, it would have to be an applique pattern. Oh, I, yeah. I couldn't go in for, for measurements. Oh, no, no, I can no. barely measure myself. Yeah, exactly. Like, no, yeah. We're, no, we're not into that. That's yeah. like math and everything. We can't yeah, do that. No. But like something like that, that's, I mean, that it kind of seems easy. Creative. Yeah. And, and putting it putting it into you know putting it down on paper um you know i i think i think it's a i think it would be 
an awesome really endeavor. Cool. Yeah, it might be cool so, to try. So Should watch, we try it? watch this space. Maybe Jen can um, make up a pattern. Now I do want to share with you your other fabric, the other quilt that you done, had done. Oh, the Hoffman Challenge. Now this from was the last Hoffman year. Challenge. If you look up Hoffman Challenge, the 2021 Hoffman Challenge, this was Jen's entry, but she didn't enter it. This is what I was talking about. Her rabbit quilt. Okay. Now this, this fabric here, um, and all of this was the Hoffman challenge fabric. Yeah. The watermelon was not, but again, you just have to use a bit of the challenge fabric. Um, this is the actual Hoffman manufacturer's fabric. Um, and Jen had done now, which this wasn't, no, it no, was, it was not the watermelon not, and not, not the this. ears. So um, you just used a bit on the body and everything, and everything. yeah. So about all the body, the nose, the and eye, the, the carrot. Yeah. Yep. So Jen did this bunny that she did not submit into the contest, and I or into the exhibit, I should say. Yeah. It wasn't a contest, um, but this is Jen again. Now again, you just let the fabric speak to you, yeah. and this this bit of fabric spoke a carrot. Yeah. And that's and then, how the idea was born. And that's how her idea was born for this. Um, her for her bunny quilt and it's sort of the same thing you just you got the idea from your head or from Pinterest yeah, I or, looked at rabbit pictures I always like to look at real life and then cartoon and, cartoon. and then other quilts because right. it kind of gives you an idea yes. of how to pose them like a lot of them had the ears going straight up but right. I knew I wanted a bent ear yes so that was just something I added um, and, and then, then again you just made uh, you just started cutting the shapes or you did it on paper uh, I think I did start on paper. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, then you do, you, you do the giraffe. The only paper when I did was the was head. the head. Yeah. Right. But this I did start on paper. Yeah, because that makes that makes sense. So, it's like a puzzle yeah. that you're making the pieces to. Yes. That's kind of how your brain has to do it. But that's our brain. Right. And a lot of people absolutely would need like, oh, what do I cut for the eye? What yeah. do I cut? And that's so, where the pattern making comes into it. Yeah. So, and what's hard with the challenge is. Sometimes, as you know, like with the batik, so my batik doesn't necessarily look exactly the same as this, right? Right. No, no, that, this is your fabric. How, how often does a batik uh, repeat? Doesn't your, doesn't your batik look like that? It does, but I mean, is this blue spot, if I only got a half a yard, right. I might not have that same blue spot. Um, it I think it's every 18 after. inches. Oh, it is. I, I think it is every 18 inches. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then it... So, and you're going to get some, you're, like, we're talking about this. So yeah. you're going to get, like, in a batik, I, I understand what you're saying. Like, the pattern match. But even, like, this multicolored, mottled um, batik fabric will have a little bit of green. Um, and when you're, when you're doing, a lot of people couldn't get this actual fabric, this batik. Um, but, but I just need to see a little bit of rainbow yeah. tie-dyed batik fabric that you have but like you may just be some people may just be using the pink yeah some people just so each quilt's gonna look completely different yeah um, that's why I like that you picked that one yeah because this is this gives you a variety somebody might be just making a blue quilt somebody might just be making a yellow quilt yeah. or the or the looks of and so that and again you just need to make the quilt with as much which with, with the fabrics that I've chosen or your fabrics similar that I can identify the fabrics yeah so I can really identify them because you used all six of those fabrics that is awesome so that's Jen. and they're due March March 15th March 15th, 15th. Right. March 15th. Okay. Um, I do have Stefan Stefan had um, made his challenge quilt um, he's in Germany and he sent me pictures it's done it's done oh, and it was done it was done like weeks and weeks ago I mean I, yeah I know Stefan you're amazing and it's fantastic I'm not going to be I probably a few weeks before because mm -hmm. if I get a flurry of of people's uh, quilts, I think I may um, start sharing them maybe in February. Okay. Yeah, like if people start. Because you'll probably finish. need more than one video anyway. Uh, yes, I'll need more than one video, and we want to talk about it. So, Stefan, you are the first one other oh, than Jen. Congratulations! But you have to finish your quilt. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm gonna. She has I'm to finish gonna. it. It has to be. Somebody said, "Can it be tied?" I'm like, absolutely. A quilt is just three layers of fabric. If you want a machine quilt, it hand quilt it, tie it. But it has what to be tying? finished. Yeah. Tying is. I don't know. People like put the fabric together, and then with a piece of um, like maybe a, a thicker cotton, like they tie it. Oh. from the back and then like knot it every like four or five inches really? and, then keep, and then they don't quilt and then it. they that's that the, they it's tied 
it's, oh. it's just, just is it called free, a tied quilt? It's called a tied quilt. Oh. And then people don't have to machine or hand quilt it. The batting, the backing, and the quilt top is held together By the with tie. just these little ties. Hmm. Yeah, it's a thicker cotton. I would like to, to actually, see that. I'll yeah, that up. yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna look up a tied quilt. Maybe I'll put a picture of it. But I do. Want It. But I do want to just share before we go. So that's that's your um, patches, true love, darling. And what did you name your bunny? So this didn't have a name per se. No. It was called I called it the discontent bunny. Oh, that's right. Because he was a rabbit in a watermelon patch, dreaming dreaming of a, of a carrot, but he's in a watermelon patch. The discontent bunny. So <laughs> now I say to my kids, like, don't be like the discontent bunny. <laughs> you have plenty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you're dreaming. So I just wanted to share I, a, a couple videos ago. I had said to people, send in your send in your um, your uh, little stories of what you have made. And I got quite a few long stories that I'm not gonna. They're for my personal thing, but I'll give you a little highlights. Now, <laughs> Of what they've made, because I'm not necessarily quilting right now, oh. because again I'm in temporary digs here, um, and my situation is is a uh, ever changing, ever ever changing every day. Um, so I'm not doing a tremendous amount. And so the tone of my channel here has changed slightly. But I'm I was inviting people to to email me what projects they have made using my tutorials. Oh no. Nice. So all of these, I I've like done that. two videos, and this one is a little bit dark. I just hold the picture up. This is, there's no note, there's no story, but this is from Colleen. Colleen, you know who you are. You made a quilt out of like, I, I believe it's like blues, grays, and, and blacks, and creams of my 10 minute free seam quilt block. And there is Colleen's quilt. So pretty. That she made. I just got a picture of it. Nice job, Colleen. That Yeah, nice job. We've gotten a few, uh, quite a few people have made this quilt, which this is my most popular video. Oh. This was made, this, my, made this video about four or five years ago, and I've gotten over 200,000 views. It's such an easy quilt to make. Mm -hmm. um, Now this one was interesting because this is my 2021 uh, Dear Jean quilt. Um, this was this was wow, I will, this is from Pat Reynolds in um, Burlington, New Jersey. Hey Jean, I just got my quilt back from the Long Arm Quilter. I'm so proud of it. You do such an excellent job of teaching. Thank you. My prayers are with you and your wonderful family. And so that wow. isn't that lovely. Good that job, Pat. yeah. Look at Pat. What Pat did with the, my Dear Jean. This was a tutorial for my sampler quilt that I did week by week by week with the center block. I love all the different colors. Oh, I know. Isn't it gorgeous? Beautiful. What people have come up with. Um, and now this one is from Cindy Lou. Cindy Lou. I just was so impressed with this, and it's again, it's a long, it's a long story. But basically, Cindy Lou has made a Scrabble quilt, and if you again, oh. I had made a Scrabble quilt. She made this uh, Scrabble quilt after watching her video. Um, they're so much fun to make. The first one was for a family in our congregation that also has ten children, oh. and eight of the girls were named after them, all beginning with the letter K. So she had to buy multiple panels to get enough <laughs> K's. Isn't that funny? Um, she uh, she's had a, a, a she said I wish we lived closer together. I'm so happy to know that you're my sister. You've had a lot of changes and trials, which we have had. Um, but you always keep smiling. Not really. <laughs> Sometimes I moan. Um, I love your attitude. So this is from Cindy Lou. Isn't that oh, awesome? Oh my word! I know. Look at this. Massive. I know. That is Cindy Lou's. Like, That's hopefully, awesome. Her Scrabble quilt. Way to go, Cindy. Made with the fabrics panel it's huge it's beautiful isn't it so pretty
and I have uh, just two more I just wanted to share. This was interesting. I had made a um, tutorial on a slouchy bag. Um, this is from Delwyn. Um, she purchased this fabric in Fiji when she visited. Oh, wow. I know, so cool. So this, and um, she was he helping with disaster relief. You could have come and helped us with disaster <laughs> relief. Why'd you go to Fiji? <laughs> We've had enough disasters here. Um, I'm trying to teach young ones in the congregation to sew. And I'm Aww. picking smaller projects. So this is the one of the fa the slouchy bags from my tutorial. Love that. Isn't that awesome fabric? Oh, so stylish. From Fiji. My origami bag I think though I I actually I think this is my on my page did I make one for my general public this might be just for my patrons this tutorial I have a patreon account I did that one and then this this uh, the, this last little story really touched my heart very very long I must say um, this is from Daniel thank you so much Daniel the reason um, why greetings and prayers to your family I previously commented on your YouTube channel how you served to inspire me to make my first quilt Aww. yeah and me her too, mother Daniel. her mother follows and this I and I didn't get a large picture of this but again this is a very long story um, but I want to share that this is the quilt that has Daniel's made a pinwheel quilt I hope you can see that. What touched me the most about Daniel's story is um, I never thought I would make a quilt, but you inspired me to get it done. When I had challenges, I just wanted to walk away. My mother just kept reminding me, keep trying. I enjoy your videos and stories, so always pray for your family. I wish for a large family, but only had one. My Nate is a blessing, my gentle giant. Um, Nate is on the spectrum, and all he did early, for, early on was scream mm -hmm. for years. Now he has taken off and thrived. He is a straight-A student and winning several awards in the school system and our community. Awesome. So there is his Nate. Look at this. And some of the other quotes that Daniel has made is Thomas the Tank. for looking after Nate. It's awesome. So that's all I have to share today. I do have some other ones that I will be coming Ooh, to you with, nice. um, but we've done our job. It's all exciting. We've named the giraffe. Hatch is true love, darling. I love it. <laughs> that is so sweet. That is really sweet. I like Zaza. Yeah. I like Zaza. I really did. I like Zaza and Lola. Thank you. Love I liked, yeah, I like them. Do but you isn't that? You have grand baby. Do we have a, no, La Isla. Oh, Isla. We have Isla, yeah. Oh, oh, we have um, uh, uh, um, our our two sons are having girls, and our my friend Ying, my little Vietnamese friend Ying that I mentioned to that, she just had two little baby girls. So there's four girls. We have one. Our other daughter's pregnant, so we might have five little girls wow. who are um, who are coming or or here. Um, Congratulations to Jared and Ying. They had baby Matilda and Margot. Uh, identical, identical twins born five pounds, five ounces each. Wow. Ten pounds, ten ounces in little Ying, who's this big. Yeah. Amazing. They're healthy, naturally, done natural, fantastic. So congratulations to them all, Matilda and Margot. Aww. And then um, our other three daughters-in-laws are going to be having, hopefully, all girls. That would be nice. That would be Because we just had all boys. So well, that's, It comes in waves, It does it? come in waves because we had Tristan, uh, Alistair, and um, Warren. Okay. And they're all the same. So we're going to have 19 grandchildren. And, um, yeah, girls seem to be ruling. So, yeah. So maybe we're going to have some... T I'll take up these girls' names. There you go. Yeah. Esmeralda. <laughs> Nate will do name. Name the, girl, name the true love. <laughs> So anyway, thank you, Jen. Thanks it's been wonderful. For and thank you for your thank you for, yes, your, thank you for your name. input. Look at that. that so was patches awesome. won. So you guys, you guys who named patches, that is sweet. And true love, darling. That's lovely. Love it. Alright, folks, thanks a lot. See you Bye. later. Bye.